Exhibit A, yes indeed. Frank Kelly, you're welcome. Nice to have you with us. My pleasure. My word, that is an ecclesiastical shirt. Isn't it? Do you like that shirt? Well, it's it's certainly got Father Ted written all over it, Father Crilly and Father Everybody Else. And Father Everybody Else, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Um, I'm jealous. I'm, I have an abundance of jealousy because earlier on, before we came into the studio tonight, I, I had a look at a very small clip, which is very difficult to obtain from Channel 4. Of, of, the, of the new series. Yeah, so very jealous about it, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you lucky man, there's Pauline McGlynn. Pauline McGlynn, Dermot Morgan, mm -hmm. Ardlo Hanlon, yeah. and myself. And yourself. Are the core of it. Yeah. And it's a surreal sitcom set on an island that exists nowhere off the coast of Ireland. This is a unique island because it's got facilities that you wouldn't have anywhere You'd else. You'd never in find on, no, on an island, no, no. How would you but describe the characters? Start off with yourself. Well, all the characters have been clearly understood by any cleric. Yeah. There's a superannuated, geriatric, slightly alcoholic cleric played by me. There's a very concerned man who gets everything wrong, Dermot, Mo Dermot Morgan. Ardlo Hanlon, who you couldn't send for a box of matches. He's the young he makes a mess. Young in makes a mess of everything. Pauline McGlynn, who is a housekeeper who just keeps making tea and sandwiches and getting I, in the I way. I love Pauline. I, and she's oh. very funny in it. She's extremely so, funny. As a matter of fact, we just happened to have a tape, Frank, oh, no, lined really? up and ready to go. Oh, there's a coincidence. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> is Father Jack a little hard of hearing? <laughs> yes, he gets a kind of waxy build-up in his ears. And then we have to syringe them. It's not very nice. It's great, though, in a way, because, you know, we're never short of candles. <laughs> well, that was in his head last week. <laughs> and there's a few more over there. Ah, uh, no. Not toilet duck again. <laughs> You know what that does to you. <laughs> You'll be seeing the pink elephants again. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up to you? <laughs> now, there you go. There you I go. Mean, um, now, I'm told, and this is the impeccable research to which I am privy, All right. that you're a mass-going man yourself. Um, is, there, is there any sort of challenge between portraying this old, dreadful, geriatric... No problem whatsoever because... I drink anything, priest. No problem whatsoever because I'd love this to be shown to an audience entirely of priests first and they would wet themselves laughing at it. They would identify with all the situations. They're all true in a kind of surreal way. And as you know, with the recruitment into the priesthood, young, very young priests have to take care of very old, difficult ones. And they would, they would just die. Like, we once did a play on a gay theme in Dublin called The Boys in the Band. And there was such worry about putting it on, they decided to preview it with an entire audience of clerics, and they gave it a standing ovation. And then, of course, there were no objections. Your man is great, though. I mean, he's wonderful. He's, Boswell would have loved him. I mean, he's, 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 he's in oh, he's outrageous. pieces. He's outrageous. They can't take their eye off him for where too long. Did you, where did you draw on for this? What well was tapped? Well, um, Really, now I have to say it's in the writing. The writing is very, very good. I mean, it's, it's Arthur Matthews. There's and, an Irish connection there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, are the, who are the two guys around? Matthews and Linehan. And they're just absolutely terrific. And it's entirely situational. There are no cheap gags. And it's not Irish. It's not a paddy whackery thing. And it's know? not made for an Irish audience specifically, sure? It's not oh, no, not at all. Oh, no. But they, they don't think about us when they're making television programmes. So, like, it's for their own consumers, you know? Now, you've two and you Irish never asked me about the play I'm appearing in the middle you of the You will, don't worry, I'll make sure that you get that plug in. How long will that, that plug in. take? About 15 seconds? Oh, I'll take about to 15 <laughs> anyway, yeah. Don't yeah, worry, yeah. we'll make sure All that right, that's... Yeah, no. um, we, there are lovely Irish connections there. You've got the two Irish writers who've worked with Rick Mail and Alexis. That's right, yeah. And yeah. we've an Irish director. Yeah. And Arthur Mathis. As well, haven't we? Pardon? Is it an Irish director or an Irish producer? Uh, an Irish director, um, uh, Declan Lani. A young name familiar, to, was, Euro yeah. familiar to Eurovision audiences. That's right, that's right, yeah. And um, Jeffrey Perkins, um, English producer, but uh, very cute in company, very, very slick in making comedy, and um, very wouldn't, wouldn't have any paddy whackery at all, well, you know. And you're, you're, a, you're a serious man, Frank. I mean, you, you like to be taken seriously. I mean, I think you take your acting very seriously as well. When it comes to work like, like this, and you're constantly being asked to do gags and, and pull faces and voices and, and advertisements and things like that. Is there a difficulty there? 
Yeah, I think there is actually, because um, there's a point at which everybody wants their work persona separated from their civil life persona. Now, you'll know this yourself. There are times when you don't want to be perceived as the person that people listen to on the radio. God um, if you're having a meal in a restaurant or something like that, um, people kind of impose a persona on you and there's an ordinary side to everybody. We're all different while we're doing what we're good at, but you go back to being ordinary very quickly afterwards, you know what I mean? It's one of those things. So I suppose you like to have people's respect. In Ireland there's a slight association between acting the Egypt and comedy and they're two different things. You know? I think it's time for that plug. Plug, we're doing, yeah, we're doing Run For Your Wife again in the Olympia, Des Kyo. Sold out last time, right? It did. It's, it's had two huge runs, and we're doing it again. And it's on um, June the 19th. It opens. We we'll start rehearsing May the 29th. So uh, that'll be an, that'll be another dimension Can to I show. Could, anyway, quickly ask you to compare that maybe in a three sort of second answer. Live stage compared to something like Father Ted, pre-recorded, rehearsed, finally edited. You change disciplines the way you would change from doing a radio show to walking to the studio and doing a television show. The brain just clicks into a, another mode. And just human beings have the ability to adapt. You know, you just, one does. Um, I loved doing this because it's very well written. And you're one heck you know. of an adaptable man. I wish you the best of luck and I'm dying to see it. Good Bless you. Time. I hope it's a great success. Friday it goes out. Yeah.